in a move that affirmed his position as the opposition leader as Mio and Kenya coalition leader Raila Molo Dinga has today poked holes into President William Ruto's government. Odinga has castigated President William Ruto for what he calls as a pursuit of personal vendetta against current and former state officials who he differed with before assuming office in August. We are, however, firmly opposed to the current trend directed by a vindictive regime that the president and the president that seems to be pursuing a personal vendetta against specific current and past state officers in the pretext of pursuing extrajudicial executions. This comes as President William Bruto disbanded the Special Service Unit, SSU, in what he termed as its officers were involved in the extrajudicial killings, Odinga accusing the president of orchestrating a witch hunt against former Director of Criminal Investigation, DCI, George Kinoti. One of William Ruto's grudge against George Kinoti and the DCI started way before the elections. Ruto appears to believe that the coming of the, DCI, of the UDI regime is a perfect mandate for him to punish the officers he long had a grudge against. We are here to say no. The former Prime Minister went ahead to trash Ruto's fight against police killings as attempts to sacrifice state officers who, in the line of duty, have robbed politicians the wrong way and who are now being selectively punished for having done their job. Ruto seems to be looking for some Indians whom he lost in the middle of the August elections. Those Indians were human beings. They deserve to live and we continue to pray for their families and hope that they be found alive and that justice shall be done in their case. But we believe the Indians are not the first to disappear and they will most certainly not be the last if the past is anything to go by. So, as Mr. Ruta mounts a search for the Indians, whoever and whatever they were to him, we want an equally vigorous search to establish the truth behind their disappearance and death of tens of Kenyans, including the following. Sergeant Kipiegon Kenei, the administration police officer, went missing just when he was supposed to accompany his colleagues, the director of criminal investigations, to record a statement in the 39.5 billion shillings fake arms probe that involved the office of the deputy president when Ruto was serving in that capacity. Odinga, however, called for the release of Serisian member of parliament, John Waluke, who was ordered to pay 1 billion shillings fine or serve 67 years in jail over a 297 million shillings national cereals and produce board maize fraud case. As Kenyans continue to struggle with the high cost of living, the Azumiya One Kenya coalition leader has faulted the Kenya Kwanzaa government for increasing the burden for Kenyans through taxation. The issue of raising of taxes, despite the campaigns, both Azumiya and Kenya Kwanzaa made promises to Kenyans. Sorry, during the campaigns, both Azumiya and Kenya Kwanzaa made promises to Kenyans. On our part, we made it clear that they would realize the promises we made without increasing tax burden on Kenyans. It remains our position that Kenyans cannot afford and should not be asked to pay extra taxes for the older regime to realize the outlandish and unrealistic, unrealistic promises it is pursuing. Davis Beria. Ebro News.